video is uh, is a very powerful um, uh, piece of evidence. But this one doesn't tell the whole story of what happened the night 17-year-old Peyton Blitstein was shot and killed. He was one of five people inside this red car. Now, according to police, Adam Holin confronted them, upset that they speed through the neighborhood. In an interview with police, Holin said he felt like he was going to get beat up by the teen, so he had a pistol out at low ready. That's a police term, and Holin is a former police officer who had quit the Greenwood Village Department just days before this shooting. You're going to have the defense arguing that this was a, a trained police officer, that he had every right to confront um, these individuals. But police say the video shows he did it with a raised gun and that that's when and why the 17 year old pulled out his own firearm. This ghost gun made up of different pieces so it's untraceable. Police say the teen shot first one time hitting Holin in the hip and that the former officer shot back nine times killing him. He told police he's trained to eliminate the threat and it was his training that took over. Muscle memory. He didn't think about it. He just did it. The defense will point out that uh, uh, under the law of self-defense, you really don't have to de-escalate. A police officer may be trained to do so. It may be best practices to try to de-escalate, but the law of self-defense is very clear. You may stand your ground. And he says that's where prosecutors will push back. Holland's toxicology test results showed positive for eucannabinoids and that he had a blood alcohol level of 0.193 meaning he was not sober. That calls into question his judgment. Um, it's illegal per se to possess and discharge a weapon uh, when you're intoxicated.